Good afternoon and welcome to the 2020 Activity Awards. Uh, here are our highlights for this year. What a year we had. Even though this year was cut short, VHS continued to do many things to be proud of. We started the year with 102 new grade nines joining Bathurst High School, as well as 24 international students from countries all around the world, including Spain, Mexico, Brazil, Germany, Turkey, Thailand, Vietnam, France, Switzerland, Colombia, and China. We planted trees on Earth Day this year, and students were invited to attend a sustainable conference in Beldoon. Our history class built World War I replica trenches to help with understanding of what our soldiers went through. We held a clothing drive with their Gold Growth and Grit class, and we had another successful year with our Vinyl Cafe. The Drama Club had a successful dessert theater in conjunction with their Connery Tech class. Students showed off their many talents this year in the variety show, from Paige Sewell's dancing to Maddie and Ashley's perfectly matched harmonies. Mr. Murray and Mr. Cameron welcomed a new colleague to the English department, Swim Shady, and Paul Robershaw couldn't stand on his own two feet during Boomerang Day. We held our annual Terry Fox Walk, raising money for cancer research, and we continued with the Fireman Challenge with Miss Jennings, Miss McVeigh, and Mr. Cameron retaining their championship belts. The teacher versus students dodgeball game went, and the teachers win again. I mix some controversy, I will say, for sure. Uh, we started the year with a new gym floor and logo, and uh, Mr. Murray took 30 students to a Wee Day conference in Halifax. We had a Health Canada vaping awareness tour hit Bathurst High School, as well as a guest speaker explaining the dangers of vaping. Teachers became rock star in this whole COVID epidemic with their lip sync challenge, and the fashion sh show uh, had, was a big hit with Mr. Larson stealing the show. Tara Gover won a national $100,000 Schulich scholarship for STEM education, that would be science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and I believe this is the first time this has happened to a Bathurst High School student. Multiple students traveled to Ottawa with Encounters with Canada, and four students and an advisor went to the Canadian Student Leadership Conference in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Bathurst High School students and teachers received multiple iHub grants, including the use of a 3D printer, and prepared and hosted an interactive Wheel of Fortune game with residents of a local senior's home with prizes for all. Bathurst High School students did a much needed renovation to promote positive mental health for clients at the Bathurst Volunteer Center with the assistance of Shannon Levine. And this year, the BHS cybersecurity team won their first ever Cyber Defense League banner for coming first in Anglophone School District North. BHS hosted its third annual fashion show on February 26th with more than 40 students who were involved as well as the Caltech class who made some amazing cookies. The SRC hosted multiple events this year, including three very successful dances, and the Phantom costume made a reappearance this year, especially during some of our Phantom Pride activities. In the music department, a number of concert band members doubled from last year, a very successful dessert theater highlighting two plays. Our holiday concert featured all our singing and instrumental groups, as well as some community involvement, and it was a huge success. The first haunted hallway at BHS took place and raised funds for the Bradley Chamberlain Education Fund. Students traveled to Ross and Netherwood School for the Festival of the Art Weekend, and Music Memories students increased their number of visits to senior homes and were awarded with a NIHUB grant. Sound production class started during semester two with lots of interest from students, and two students traveled to Mount Allison University for a Provincial Honors Band Weekend. In athletics, Nathan Clinda and Connor Legacy were picked as NBIAA All-Stars in basketball and participated in the All-Star game in St. John. Our golf team had an international flair as one of our exchange students, Mario, joined them from Spain. And BHS baseball team made a comeback after a few seasons where we couldn't feel the team. The boys basketball team brought home two banners, winning the Sugarloaf Senior High School Bears Den Tournament and the Dalhousie, Dalhousie Regional High School Connors Classic Condors Classic, and also they placed first in the Northern Division and advanced to semifinals by defeating Carleton North at Regionals, becoming one of the top four teams in the province. Sadly, our volleyball team and track and field team did not have a chance to compete this year, but we're looking for a promising year in the 2021 season. 
We had another unified basketball team for the second year in a row with Nabil, Rebecca, Braden, and Reed lighting up the court. And Ethan Casey won wrestling provincials in the 82 kilos weight class, capping off an undefeated season. Wow, what a fantastic year we had. There were many, many more things that happened at BHS this year. And most of this took place because of the many teachers and volunteers who made every club, every sports team, and every event a possibility. To the coaches and advisors, for all that each of you do, I truly thank you. It surely makes coming to school at Bathurst High School more enjoyable for us all. I know we would all like to be together to celebrate your successes, and since we can't, I hope you enjoy this presentation of the 2020 Activity Awards. Thank you, and take care. SRC. The Student Representative Council had an extremely busy year beginning last August as they prepared for the students' arrival in September. These students work hard long after the school day ends, spending hours planning dances, making videos, posting pictures on bulletin boards around the school, running activities to go with the seasons, as well as counting and rolling money. I would have to say that this year's group was especially dedicated towards improving school spirit at BHS, and they were a fun group to work with and to be around. We would like to recognize our graduating executive members for their outstanding contribution to leadership at BHS. They are JJ Coleman, Sinead Reardon, Katherine Rogers, and Andy Scott. m and Thanks to the commitment and enthusiasm of its members, the m and Committee had a very successful year, providing a variety of fun and engaging activities for the student body. Although the success of any group depends on all its members, one member of the m and Committee established herself as a positive and enthusiastic individual who was always eager to volunteer and would take on a leadership role to make sure that the activities ran smoothly. That individual is Kenna Vanderplum, the recipient of this year's Most Dedicated Award. Radio Club. The BHS Radio Club is a dynamic group of students who record the latest happenings from BHS and send it off to be played on Max 104.9 each Tuesday evening. It takes a strong personality and someone with a great voice and good literacy skills in order to con record consistently with very few retakes. While there are many strong individuals to choose from, two grads did an exceptional job at spreading the phantom pride very well over the airwaves these past years. Please help me recognize Tara Goche and Emily Risden. Vocal Ensemble. The Vocal Ensemble is a select singing group at our school where students audition or are selected to become members. They sing a wide variety of music and strive for excellence in their performances. In the recent past, this group claimed the top vocal score at the Bathurst Music Festival for the fifth year in a row receiving the vocal trophy and placed first at the provincial level of the music festival. The highlights for this shortened year was performance during the VHS holiday concert and they hope to be back competing again next year. We'd like to present awards to the following two individuals who have made a significant contribution to this group's success through their continued commitment and involvement. Congratulations, JJ Coleman and Emily Risden. Concert Band. It takes tremendous discipline and perseverance to learn the skill of playing a band instrument and being able to read sheet music. Our concert band continues to make great music while inspiring younger instrumentalists at Superior Middle School this year who will eventually join the rank of BHS. While we do not get to perform in the Bathory Music Festival this year due to the public health circumstances, we're extremely pleased by the fact that the number of participants in band this year doubled from last year. In addition, the challenge level of the band continues to increase while having a fun time making music together. The highlights of this year was performances at the annual BHS Holiday Concert. We like to present awards to the following three individuals for their dedication and leadership within band for numerous years, and we hope they continue playing after high school. Congratulations goes to Mackenzie Branch, Tara Goche, and Patrick Roy. Tech Crew. The Tech Crew had another great year, working hard to make BHS look and sound great. This group is a lot of fun and can often be seen carrying techie things through the hallways to set up 
for the next big thing here at BHS. With a new group of students joining us from grade nine this year, we are very excited for the future of the tech crew. From organizing tangible cables and setting up for dances to helping with technology at this year's fashion show, we'd like to recognize the following two students for this year. Congratulations, Billy Levine and Cole Noble. BHS Musical. This year's BHS musical production of The Wizard of Oz sadly did not get to take its place among the long line of fabulous shows that have come alive on this stage. With a cast of nearly 40 members and more than 25 people helping behind the scenes, we hope to be able to bounce back next year and offer another great production. There are a large number of strong members within this group. It's been fun watching you all grow from your starting point to the many successes you've had and will continue to have. To all the grads, we are sad things did not work out as planned, but are hopeful we can figure out a way in the future to maybe have your return for a cameo appearance. We would like to recognize and congratulate four individuals for truly being stars of the stage throughout their years at BHS. Haley Pete, Tara Gover, Curtis Vandenbrand, Tara Gochet. Drama. The drama group at BHS continued its popular Dessert Theatre with two drama productions being presented in early December, which included the culinary tech students who provided the food for the event. The positive feedback and encouragement received from the audience was a great boost for this large group of students. Unfortunately, they could not travel to MB Drama Fest due to the health situation. Lots of new members have joined this group and we look forward to hopefully attending Drama Fest next year. This year, four students stood out for their noteworthy performances and strong dedication in the plays for this year and throughout their years at BHS. Please join me in recognizing the following performers. Sarah Roy, Isabel Legacy, Melody Moray, Julie Hache. Guys Choir. Rivaling the girls' choir, this group of dedicated gentlemen had a great year singing a variety of songs in various styles. This group is like a family who support each other and work well together to make great sounds that they truly enjoy sharing with their audiences. The highlight of the year for this group was a strong performance at the annual holiday concert. We would like to recognize two graduates who've been very dedicated leaders and outstanding performers. Please join me in congratulating Curtis Vandenbram and JJ Coleman. Girls Choir. The girls and boys have a friendly rivalry here at BHS with each group having their own choir the past several years. However, they do combine forces on numerous occasions throughout the year. This group of ladies was diverse with many different backgrounds and experience levels, but all came together with a true sense of dedication, commitment, and tons of fun. Highlights of the year include a strong performance at the annual BHS Holiday Concert. This group is looking forward to current members continuing and new members filling in the ranks of our grads who will be leaving us this year. Three individuals stand out this year for showing strong dedication to the betterment of this group. Please join me in recognizing Haley Peet, Brittany Cummo, and Taylor Russell. Music Memory. This year's Music Memory was again a success. We had very dedicated members, including some new faces, join this year. The highlights were several visits to Oasis Seniors Home, where these students improved the quality of life of many residents. All Music Memory students have worked hard to provide this service. However, the three that stand out are the graduating ladies who took extra time above and beyond to help lead and organize the group. They have clearly made an impact on this group as well as the seniors. They are Haley Pete. Sinead Reardon, and Katherine Rogers. Rock Band. Perhaps one of the smaller groups here at BHS, but arguably the loudest, Rock Band has been only been around BHS for a few years. They are already doing awesome things under the guidance of Mr. John Mann and Miss Bev Kinsman, who volunteer time one day per week to work with these rockers. Shredding awesome guitar riffs and boosting the volume to 11 to shake the foundation of our school is what this group loves. Performing at the BHS Variety Show and the BHS Holiday Concert are this year's highlights. This year's awards go to two grads who stepped up to become awesome lead, lead singers for this group. Please help me to congratulate Melody Mora and Curtis Vanderbrand. 
Songwriters Circle. Songwriters Circle is a new addition to our music department. It is a student-led group open to anyone who has an interest in creating new music and or writing lyrics. People from all different backgrounds and various levels of ability come together to create something unique that they can call their own. We like to present awards to the students who carried on this group from last year and led it to each week. Congratulations goes out to the following students for dedicated leadership within the group. Congratulations, Dylan Legacy and Nick Morrison. Music Leadership Team. The Music Leadership Team, or MLT, is a group of select students under the large umbrella of the music department. Representatives encourage new and existing students to get involved and stay involved. They also plan fun social e events and assist in decisions making for plans within the music department. Please join me in acknowledging two students who have been very important in spreading the music word and encouraging so many others to get involved here at BHS. Congratulations goes out to Tara Gauthier and Curtis Vanderbrand. Improv. Improv is short for improvisation. It's a talented group of students known for their ability to think creative and at a very fast pace. If you've ever seen Whose Line Is It Anyways, that's just a sample of these crazy types of things these students perform on a regular basis. The highlight of this shortened year was performance at the BHS Holiday Concert in December. With some energetic grade nines getting involved this year, we look forward to seeing this group continue in the future. We'd like to present the award for this group to a couple of our graduating students who have been strongly dedicated to this group throughout the years at BHS. Please join me in congratulating Brady Carrier and Kirsten Kirsted. Cybersecurity Team. For the second year in a row, BHS joined the New Brunswick Cyber Defense League in hopes of learning new skills and tackling difficult computer security breaches. It really is as difficult as it sounds. Without a proper cyber tech mentor, this three-person team proved that research and patience can get you that little bit further than you thought possible. Although our season was cut short, making reaching provincial, provincials impossible, this mighty team scored the highest in our district in the challenges. They did get to participate and we are happy to announce that they brought home the first ever Cyber Defense League banner to VHS. Sadly, all members are graduating this year. They will be greatly missed. This year's most viable programmer award goes to a new addition to the team who proved to be an essential piece of the puzzle. This person showed up early for challenges and at times was the only one present for the first part of the challenges. This year's most valuable programmer goes to Aisha Druin. Buddy Club. The Buddy Club had a great year with many new faces joining. They met once a week during lunch for fun, inclusive activities, but also participated in some other exciting events. Highlights include a visit to the Southern Comfort Nursing Home, where they decorated the doors with Christmas decorations and sang carols to the residents. And who can forget about all the unbelievable performances in the variety show? Thank you to all club members and congratulations to Caleb Terrio who is being recognized for his dedication to the Buddy Club over the past year. Recycled Dress The Recycled Dress Challenge challenges students to create clothing for materials that would otherwise be discarded. This year's participants worked well beyond the expected hours, even to the point of staying after school and showing up to the art room at random times throughout the day. All students who participated did an amazing job, but one student stood out for her use of materials. Her dress included paper, paint, glue, bed sheets, drapes, and maybe even the kitchen sink. Congratulations to Isabel Legacy for your outstanding recycled dress. Fashion Show. For the past three years, BHS has presented a fashion show to the public. This year's fashion show was the largest and most attended. A presentation like this cannot be pulled together without the help of many people. So thank you so much to both fashion tech classes for your hard work and a special thank you to Kristen Neville for keeping Mysticost focused and on track, as well as a special thank you to Isabel Legacy for always doing the last minute jobs with a smile. Artists of the Round Table, Drawing Club. For the past two years, the Drawing Club has met every Friday at noon to share their weekly drawing challenge. Based on a weekly prompt, this creative group has drawn everything from memes to fantasy characters. 
Congratulations to Melody Mora for starting the club and keeping it going. Environmental Club The BHS Environmental Club is a small but dedicated group who are trying to make the world a better place. In the short time we were able to meet, the group participated in recycling at BHS, raised over $100 to plant trees, and participated in an environmental symposium where they were able to share the student voice on environmental concerns in the Chaleur region. Although all members of the group were wonderful, the winner of the most dedicated environmentalists is Chloe Bodesha. Bully Busters. Nicole Pacifico is the overall Bully Buster champion. She is first on the draw, a very creative and creative and finishes everything she starts. What is very special about Nicole is that she loves to collaborate with others in the group and helps them along with their various initiatives. The word no is not in her vocabulary. She always completes the Bully Buster initiatives with a smile on her face and twinkle in her eye. Congratulations, Nicole. Ella Fournier is a one of a kind. She is special, thoughtful, resourceful, and very giving. Ella's true champions of the underdog and always has nice things to say. She has an amazing, energetic stage presence and her skill set was greatly appreciated for all the Bully Busters initiatives over the last four years. The Bathurst High School family is, great going to, is greatly going to miss you upon graduation, especially Mrs. Reardon. Congratulations, Ella. BHS Apparel. A new group emerged this year as BHS Apparel. It started with a few who were interested in helping to peel vinyl off after it was, the vinyl after it was cut. The smoothing practice gained some popularity and soon students were offering to help with the process any time there wasn't a need. Soon it turned into full production of counting stock, making orders, learning to cut vinyl, and of course, continue peeling. These students helped make hundreds of hoodies and shirts for a BHS community. Without them, this would, would never have been possible. Among this group, one individual stood out for their commitment to the process and who peeled the most difficult tiny emblems with perfection. She kept things in order and was never too busy to help out when it was needed. This graduate will be greatly missed next year. This year's most dedicated award for the BHS Apparel goes to Sarah Carey. Golf. The BHS golf season was another interesting one for the books. Looking to get back into the win column, the scouts widened their scope and found a new recruit from Spain. Always with a smile on his face and a positive attitude, Mario fit right in with the team and made an immediate contribution. Regionals did not go exactly as planned as the tight fairways and slow greens got the best of the BHS Phantoms. However, with lack of team participating, all schools who attend advanced to provincials. At provincials, the team found their stride and with an individual second overall finish, Mario led the team to a third place team finish. Despite wearing shorts and a golf shirt to a tournament hosted in Northern New Brunswick in September that actually saw snow that day, J.R. Buzas played one of the best rounds and helped secure a third place finish. Overall, it was a great squad and we enjoyed many laughs. Looking forward to next year. BHS Baseball Team The BHS Fans Baseball Team had a successful season which saw them advance to the Northeast Regionals just one win shy of advancing to the Provincials. The team will greatly miss those graduating players, most notably Corbin Dasty, Samson LaPointe, Dylan Legacy, and Dayton Peake who are always leaders on the field. This year's award for most viable defensive player is Corbin Dasty, while Dayton Peake wins the award for the most valuable offensive player. Cross Country Cross Country had a very successful season with Keith Ilyev and Haley Pickard qualifying for Provincials. Special props go out to Haley for placing second at Provincials. This year we would like to recognize Keith Ilyev and Haley Pickard with Outstanding Performance Awards. Boys Soccer Mr. Murray and Mr. McLagan would like to thank the Varsity Boys Soccer Team for a successful season. There were a lot of great game moments and battles. This resulted in a third place finish and a tough loss in a playoff game. The coaching staff would like to acknowledge the following seniors who will be moving on next year. Jaden Gammon, Riley Smith, 
Dylan Legacy, Ethan Casey, Nathan Kalenda, Curtis Vandenbrand, and Dawson Fournette. Girls Varsity Soccer. This year, the girls varsity soccer team placed fourth in the league standings, securing a spot at zones. Ms. Jennings would like to extend her sincerest gratitude and appreciation to the team's graduating players, Ariana Good, Sinead Reardon, Emily Risden, and Katherine Rogers for their leadership and commitment these last four seasons. The defensive most valuable player is awarded to a central defender who happened to be assigned the new position in her last season. Moving to defense to fill a void left by previous graduating players, she honed her defensive skills and became one of the most reliable players on the field. Her timing to t in the tackle, ability to never tire, and competitive spirit allowed her to play a daunting position with ease. Congratulations, Emily Risden. The offensive most valuable player is awarded to a central midfielder who seemingly never tired. In her last four seasons, she has been increasingly relied upon to be the bridge between defense and offense. Her aggressiveness in the tackle, ability to lead the offensive gameplay, and grit to get to the net was unmatched. In that core position, she never once let it be known that she was tired or defeated, as it was not in her nature. She's a true competitor who revels in the challenge and plays to win. Congratulations, Sinead Reardon. Boys Varsity Basketball. This year, the BHS Varsity Boys Basketball team had a very successful season, falling just short of a berth in the NBIAA AA Provincial Final, which would have been their first since 2011. The boys finished with an overall record of 24 wins and six losses, going perfect in the Northern League play 6-0. The boys finished first in the North and third place overall following the regional tournament. During sectionals, the boys defeated Ecole St. Anne, leaving them in the top four AA teams in the province. The boys also had two players, Nathan Kalenda and Connor Legacy, selected by coaches from the Northeast to represent BHS at the NBIAA All-Star Game held at UNB-SJ. The boys have five graduating players this season and have graduated a total of 15 players over the past three seasons. This year's grads include Ibrahim Dorkum, Riley Smith, Dawson Frenette, Zach Emoff, and Nathan Kalenda. The coaching staff would also like to recognize the five graduates for their time and commitment to helping grow the BHS boys basketball program. Their presence will be greatly missed. The coaching staff of Patrick Cameron and Sean McDonald would like to thank the parents and fans for their support throughout the season, and a big thank you to our graduating manager, Mr. Legacy, for all of his efforts and input throughout the basketball season. The fandom's coaching staff would also like to thank the parents for their commitment to all the members of the team for both their guidance, emotional and financial support of each of the players. This program would not work without their support. We would also like to thank the officials from Zone 6. Without them, the games would not be safe or possible. We would also like to thank the Superior Middle School Basketball Program, along with the Bathurst Minor Basketball, for their impact and influence on these young men as they grow and develop their basketball skills. We will now present the three basketball awards. This year's awards winners are Most Improved, Connor Legacy. Most Dedicated, Ashton Kenny. MVP, Nathan Kalenda. Coaches Award, Seamus Cormier. Girls Basketball. Overall, this season could be described as a success. The team finished in fourth place in their league playing competitive games against all but the top three to five teams in the province. This success points to a bright future when you consider that the girls were learning a new style of play, getting used to a new coach, and had four girls who had never played high school basketball before. Next year, the girls will continue to grow, improve, and succeed. The coaching staff would like to congratulate two individuals in particular. The Defensive Player of the Year is Elise Kalenda. The Offensive Player of the Year is Anna Brewster. Swimming. As a junior member of the team, he came to us eager to get into the pool and improve his skills. Giving 100% at every practice paid off as we saw drastic changes in his strokes and dives. 
We can't wait to see what this young man can do in the pool next year. Most improved, Spencer Legacy. Congratulations. An active, dedicated member of the BHS swim team since grade nine, this swimmer has brought home gold and silver medals at every provincial swim meet since she joined our team. His contagious smile and dedication to his craft has made him a joy to be around and a wonderful part of the BHS swim team. We look forward to seeing him back in the pool again next year. Congratulations, Nabil Reardon, MVP for Special Olympics. As a senior member of the team, this swimmer always brought his A game to every practice and meet. Throughout his high school swimming career, he has won many golds and silver medals in multiple events at the provincial level. Along with becoming an accomplished athlete, he has proven himself as an amazing young man with great leadership skills. We certainly are going to miss you on the deck next year. MVP for the 2019-2020 season goes to Dayton Pete. Congratulations. Wrestling. This young man has certainly been the face of wrestling at BHS for the last four years. He will be missed next year. Our MVP of wrestling this year had a perfect season and is the NDIAA provincial champion in the men's 82 kilogram class. Congratulations goes out to Ethan Casey. Perfect attendance. This evening we'd like to recognize a young lady who has not missed a day of school since kindergarten. Yes, that's right, since kindergarten. This is certainly an amazing accomplishment and her devotion to education should be admired. Congratulations goes out to Sarah Carey for her perfect attendance. It gives me great pleasure to present these next two awards. The Unsung Hero Award is a very special award given to the student who quietly contributes significantly to assist teachers, advisors, coaches in the community to ensure events, events go as planned. They do this without fanfare and without considering recognition. They just want to contribute in their own special way. This year's recipient has done just that. The IODE created an award called the IODE Good Citizen Award. This award is awarded to a BHS student who has demonstrated a capacity for civics and is an outstanding citizen of the school and the community. The winner will select a charity of their choice and the charity will receive a $250 check from the IODE in the student's name. It should come as no surprise that the same individual has won both of these awards. Our recipient is a polite and eager student who faces each day with a positive attitude and, a very, and an incredible work ethic. She is one of the first ones to volunteer her time and is always very enthusiastic. She was an elected member of our Student Council Executive Committee and she was also the secretary for the New Brunswick Student Representative Council. She's a regular volunteer at our breakfast program, arriving early for school without complaint and working with a staff member to serve breakfast to students who may, who may not have had a chance to eat at home before school. She has also worked as a student volunteer with the Spirit of Christmas program that helps less fortunate seniors in our community, volunteered with the Literacy Bridges program where children come for an afternoon of literacy activities and fun, and the Nipisiguit Volunteer Travel Group. Her dedication to volunteerism was recognized in 2019 by being awarded a Shalor Outstanding Youth Award in the volunteer category. She stands out amongst her peers for her kindness to others. She can often be seen sitting with our special needs students or a new student to the building. As one of our teachers states, she is a master at making others feel valued and worthy and is one of the few students I know who can easily converse with a young child to a teenager to a senior citizen effortlessly. Rarely seen without a smile on her face, I know that she is a friend to many students in our building and she will be greatly missed in the halls of Bathurst High School but we, know, we all know she will go on to do great things as she continues her commitment to volunteerism and kindness. Please join me in congratulating Katherine Rogers, this year's winner of the IODE Good Citizenship Award and the Unsung Hero Award. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our Bathurst High School Family of the Year. I've known this family for a number of years, including their two daughters. You see, this family started helping Bathurst High School Music Department uh, quite a while ago, as their daughters were both involved in the musical and in the music department. He made sets, was very creative, always used his MacGyver-type skills to get things done. He was certainly the go-to guy. He also pushed the musical sets out, 
and help backstage. Everything that needed to be done, he would do. She was the artist behind some of the musical cast members. She took them, did their hair, made them look amazing. From Shrek to Mary Poppins to all those in between, she helped them all out. She spent countless hours to organize costumes, both in our prop room and in our fashion tech and musical areas. And their two daughters were extremely helpful this whole year and for years past. Kaylee, who graduated a number of years ago, even came back to help out in her musicals this last year behind stage, helping with props and setting up. Tara, who is graduating this year, unfortunately didn't have a chance to be in her final musical, but she was outstanding in her past music events and outstanding in the whole music department. Glenn and Colleen, on behalf of Bathurst High School, I thank you for all of you have done over the past number of years. I hope that you continue to help BHS. I know you are true phantom parents and you will always come as spectators and always willing to lend a hand. For that, I thank you and congratulations on being the Bathurst High School 2020 Family of the Year. Glenn and Colleen Goche. Thank you. And here we are with the Grad of the Year winner. And first of all, here are the finalists. Heather. The girl finalists for Grad of the Year are Tara Goche, Haley Pete, Catherine Rogers, Emily Risden, Sinead Reardon, and Andy Scott. And the boys finalists for Grad of the Year is Dane Beberling, Gavin Casey, JJ Coleman, Ibrahim Dorkum, Riley Smith, and Curtis Vanderbrand. And as voted on by the grad class of 2020, the female grads of the year are Catherine Rogers and Haley Pete. Congratulations, girls. That's right, we had a tie with the girls. Fantastic, congratulations. And the male 2020 grad of the year as voted on by his peers is JJ Coleman. Congratulations, JJ, Haley, and Catherine. Great job. Congratulations. Hi everyone, isn't this a strange time? It feels so surreal presenting the Art Award while I'm in the art room and not in the theater with all of you in front of me. But it is what it is. As like every year, this year's Artist of the Year has extended themselves well beyond a pencil and a paintbrush. When I first met this year's recipient in grade nine, I could tell right away that they had a unique creative spirit. As our recipient passed from grade 9 to grade 12, I could see them begin to accept and embrace their different way of thinking. And as a result, their creative spirit took off and flourished. As I tell you about our recipients, I know all of you will guess who they are right away as their accomplishments are as unique and as varied as they are themselves. In grade 9 and grade 10, while still being creative, our recipient kept a rather low profile. They seemed content to fly under the radar. But once in grade 11, everything changed. Strange things began to appear on the walls of the art room. Lost dogs posters were randomly placed throughout the school. Different little things were being done and people were beginning to notice. In their own little quirky style, this artist was expressing themselves and getting others to think. And as an artist, to create artwork that makes people think, that truly is valuable. In grade 11, this student took fashion technology, and since then, neither them nor the fashion room have ever been the same. They've carved a studio space within the uh, little studio, uh, sorry, they carved a little studio space within the sewing room. They kidnapped a mannequin. They brought in their own sewing machine, and they began to create their own clothing line. I knew then that this dedicated designer was passionate about fashion when I received a phone call one night around 7 p.m. while I was watching Netflix. Hiya, I'm just wondering if you know what time we would legally be allowed to stay in school. <laughs> Unknown to me, our designer was still at the school working on her sewing machine and creating designs and stayed there until 9 p.m. when she was finally told to leave. <laughs> Their hard work paid off as the fashion line was debuted in this year's annual VHS fashion show. 
As well as creating new fashions, our recipient was keenly aware of the need for artistic students to share their talents with each other. In response to this need, our recipient created the Drawing Club and offered both advice and encouragement to young artists. Our recipient has been nominated for the Art Award being given at the Shalor Outstanding Youth Awards. This past fall, our designer was approached by the management of the Plas Bathurst Mall and asked to have her fashion line displayed at this year's fashion show as well as being put on display in some of the store's windows. Although I look forward to seeing what this bright young lady will accomplish as she begins her journey at MBCCD, BHS will miss your creative spirit. The fashion room will never be the same again and your creative energy will be missed within the art room. Congratulations, Melody Morath. You have left your mark on VHS, and I will continue to look for that lost dog. The Performing Artist of the Year Award is a prestigious award created to pay tribute to a student who not only gives outstanding performances during their time at Bathurst High School, but who demonstrates strong commitment to the many groups under the music department umbrella. As with most years, the decision was especially challenging, and we would like to recognize this year's nominees, which include Tara Gautier, Haley Pete, and Curtis Vandenbrand. When this year's winner entered through the doors of the music room in grade nine, an equal dose of past musical experience and a desire to challenge their abilities and learn and experience as much as possible was evident. This year's recipient got to work on their goals immediately, signing up for every musical activity possible over the past four years. Choir, vocal ensemble, drama, musical, music leadership team, band, coffee houses, talent shows. If you surveyed all of the music department activities on Mrs. Chamberlain's master list, you would see this person's name enrolled in all of them. In addition to this vibrant extracurricular schedule, academics also filled their time where they earned top grades and participated in many academic challenges and opportunities through the past four years, wowing teachers with focus, perseverance, and growing maturity as their four years of high school flew by. Some might say her musical big break came in elementary school, where she landed the title role of Arabian Princess Jasmine in Terry Fox Elementary's production of Aladdin. At Bathurst High School, she followed that up with roles in all of the drama productions over the past four years, and also as innocent, lovable little Gretel in The Sound of Music, a skilled dancing ancestor bride in The Addams Family, a wrinkled grandmother in Willy Wonka, and was set to star as the beloved, rainbow-aspiring, iconic Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz. Though it is a thrill to shine on the stage, tonight's winner also was an organizer of happenings behind the scenes, like MLT events, and a supporter and participant in many community musical events. She took piano lessons, was one of the only student members of the Bathurst Community Band, and a well-liked volunteer with the Bathurst on Broadway summer camp for kids. This community mindedness no doubt came from her parents. Rodney spent countless hours delivering things, among them lots and lots of pizza, building sets, raising curtains, and meticulously following Sergeant Stage Manager Danica's meticulous backstage strategies. And Sherry, who sold tickets, decorated lobbies, and supported our many endeavors in so many vital ways. Not only is our winner, but her entire family, a shining example of what it means to give to and support a community. Haley, though this year didn't turn out quite as planned amid necessary cancellation after cancellation, please know that the dedication and talent you brought to Bathurst High School will never be canceled or forgotten for that matter. And that goes for all our 2020 graduates. Haley, your hard work and unwavering commitment to the music department these past four years will not only help you to reach your future goals, but will remain here with us all as you move on. I have no doubt that you will crush the goals you set for yourself as you begin your life beyond high school, just as you clearly did when you first stepped through the music room doors. With your vast experiences supporting you, you will make it over the rainbow and beyond. But please remember to stop in and see us because after all, there's no place like home. And I would like to invite everyone watching from home to please join me in congratulating the 2020 Bathurst High School Performing Artist of the Year, Haley Pete.
Often when I am watching, coaching, or refereeing sports, I'll start thinking about which players I want my own kids to resemble on the court, field, or ice. The kids that stand out to me for this are rarely the best players or the top scorers. The kids that always stick out to me are the ones who work the hardest and are team first players. They don't let their playing time dictate their demeanor. They are, happy, they are as happy for their teammates' success as they are their own. When they feel that a call went against themselves or their team, they grit their teeth and work harder through the adversity. This is the type of player and person I want my two kids to be as they progress through sport and life. These are the types of attributes that make a student athlete a contender to win the Phantom Award. This year's recipient is a student who exemplifies what it means to be a student athlete, working hard both inside and outside the classroom and being the true student athlete. This individual has played on many teams during their BHS career and has had the opportunity to represent BHS throughout the province. There's no student athlete who better exemplifies these qualities than Riley Smith. I had the privilege to coach Riley on this year's boys varsity soccer team. Riley ended up being a key player and a leader on and off the field. He is someone who I would tell the younger players to model themselves after. This is because of the effort he puts in and the manner in which he carries himself. Riley is also a hardworking and dedicated student. There wouldn't be a teacher at Bathurst High School who would be able to say anything negative about Riley's effort or behavior in their classroom. When a student is needed to perform a task outside the classroom, Riley is always at the top of the list as he can be trusted to get the task done without supervision or oversight. It's my pleasure to present the 2019-2020 Phantom Award to Riley Smith. Congratulations. On behalf of current and former coaches, it is with great pleasure that I present the 2020 Female Athlete of the Year Award to an individual whose dedication to sport at Bathurst High School has been unrivaled. This year's title winner recognizes a student athlete who excels in several sports while balancing a demanding academic and extracurricular schedule. She is a proud phantom who has sported the red and black colors on the field, courts, running track and trails these last four years. Grit is a highly sought after trait in sport. As setbacks will inevitably arise, talent with the addition of perseverance is key in navigating these challenges. Perhaps it's a family trait or one that has been fostered through years of working on the downshore farm, but this individual has consistently demonstrated the ability to not only see a challenge through, but learn and improve from it. In these last four years, she has personified the definition of grit while she ran the last grueling lap of a long distance run, fought for a rebound, or battled for possession in the dying minutes of extra time. Every coach desires an athlete so dedicated to the game and their team. This individual has long been respected and admired by her teammates and coaches for athleticism, versatility, and attentiveness to improve herself and those around her. I have no doubt she will continue to make great strides in whatever she pursues, as all the qualities that make her a successful athlete have made her a successful student and person. It can be a tiring year playing five sports, but she takes it in stride. It has been a pleasure to coach this athlete these last four years, and I will genuinely miss hearing about the cutthroat world of cow showing. In many circles, you have been described as a go-getter, but you should also know that you are our go-to. Congratulations to this year's Female Athlete of the Year, Sinead Reardon. The winner of the 2020 Male Athlete of the Year is a true talent with regards to his raw athletic abilities. During discussions with coaches at BHS and around the province, this young man's talents place him in a class of his own. Both on the field and in the gym, this young man quietly goes about playing his respective sport at the highest level. Doing whatever it takes to find success, this player is respected by teammates and opponents alike through his tireless work ethic. Being a senior athlete on both the soccer and basketball teams, this athlete leads by example and is a skilled and feared competitor. His skills do not end with the two major sports, but his athletic abilities easily transition into noon hour intramurals, including volleyball, ball hockey, and of course, ping pong. His compete and skill levels are matched solely by his perspiration levels as one of the sweatiest athletes to have ever worn the Phantoms uniform. His quiet personality does not match the flashiness of his game or of his wardrobe. This young man turns heads by his skill and has coaches here at BHS wishing he was coming back for another year. Winning awards in both major sports he has competed in this season, this year's Male Athlete of the Year is Nathan Kalenda.
Phantom Awards. The Phantom Awards are given to a select few students at Bathurst High School who actively participated and made significant contributions in numerous activities and groups throughout their four years at Bathurst High School. The award is based on commitment, involvement, contribution, and how well he or she represented BHS. This year's winners are all true phantoms, as they have been contributing members in many activities while at BHS and have all been outstanding ambassadors at Bathurst High School on many occasions during their high school career. Tonight's winners wear red and black with pride, both inside and outside of the school community. This year's recipients of the Phantom Awards are JJ Coleman, Tara Goche, Tara Gover, Melody Mora, Haley Pete, Sinead Reardon, Emily Risden, Catherine Rogers, Riley Smith, and Curtis Vanderbrand. Congratulations.